Hey, hey, Jakar Lewis here, and I'm the author of the Kisses Series T6 Math Edition as well as the T7 Math Edition. And I always get this question all the time. What is the major difference between those two exams? So today, I'm going to give you guys some tidbits as to what you can expect on the new exam versus the old exam. So the first thing you guys are gonna notice is definitely the change in the number of questions that you have to answer. For the T7, you guys are required to answer 38 questions versus the previous version where you had to answer 36 questions. Now, out of the 38 questions that you answer, only 34 of those will be scored. So what does that mean? That means that out of all of the questions, four of those will be omitted, but there's no way for you to determine which ones will be omitted. So I advise everyone always to answer every single question even though you won't be scored for all of them you will not be penalized for any of the wrong answers the second thing that you'll notice is the difference in time so for the t6 version you guys were allotted 54 minutes to complete the, that portion of the exam but for the new version of the exam you guys are allotted 57 minutes so it's not that big of a difference a three minute difference for two extra questions that you have to answer but again not a big surprise for you guys and really great news because you can keep the same pace that you did with the previous exam. The third and most notable change between the two exams is gonna be in reference to question distribution. The math portion of the T's test is broken down into two major components, numbers and algebra, and measurement and data. The new version of the exam has more of an equal distribution of topics versus the old version that was more heavy on numbers and algebra. So for the new version, numbers and algebra will consist of 18 questions, and measurement and data will consist of 16 questions, versus the old version where there were 23 questions from numbers and algebra and only nine questions from measurement and data so in layman's terms all this means for you is that you're more likely to see every single thing that's supposed to be on the exam equally versus it being more heavy on numbers and algebra which isn't a bad thing you just won't see more of a certain topic than the other based on how the questions are going to be distributed for the new exam the fourth and final difference that you'll notice between the T7 and the T6 is going to be the answer choices that are available to you guys so on the T6 all of the answer choices were multiple choice. You were given four answer choices and one of those answers will be correct. But for the new version of the exam, you can expect to see five different variations of answer choices. So the first, of course, is going to be multiple choice, which is what we're used to. Um, the second thing is fill in the blank, which means you have free range to put whatever answer you want to. And we also have order response. So that means that the answers will be in the wrong order and then you have to reorder them correctly. Um, we also have hotspot items which I don't really see you guys having to do for math, but hotspot means you have an image and you click on it and um, you pick whatever is in reference to the question it's asking. And then the last aspect is multi-select, meaning that you can have two or more answers that are correct for a particular question. As you guys can see, there aren't any major differences between the T6 and the T7, but if you're struggling to get prepared and you don't know where to start, my T7 math workbook is the perfect resource for you. Everything is short, sweet, and to the point. Over 1,700 practice questions included, along with over 250 in-depth video tutorials that walk you through every single example that's included, along with our difficult and frequently asked questions. So if this is you, be sure to check out the link below and grab your copy. If you already started with the T6 and now you have to retest with the T7, don't be afraid, don't be scared because content-wise, the exams are literally identical. The only difference is two additional questions and a more even distribution of topics, but you will be good to go. Thank you so much for your time today checking me out. I hope I was able to clarify some things and make things easier for you and good luck on your journey to nursing.